Good day, everyone! My name is Zachary Sims, and today we will be discussing floodplains and levees. A floodplain is an area of low-lying ground adjacent to a river, usually made of river sediment and is subject to flooding. A levee is an embankment of sediment deposited naturally alongside a river by overflowing water. Floodplains and levees are depositional landforms. They are created by deposition and transportation in the lower course of a river's profile, where the river is high in velocity and discharge, but is also transporting lots of load. Wherever you get areas of low energy, such as when the river floods onto the floodplain, you will get deposition. When a river goes up to the top of its bank, this is called the bank fault discharge, or in layman's terms, a flood. When water goes over the bank vault, it takes alluvium deposits and disperses it, varying on the size of the sediment. Larger particles will be deposited nearer to the river's channel. The particles will get smaller and smaller as you move away from the river's edge. This is called horizontal sorting. This is due to the various transportation methods. Larger sediments will be taken via traction, as they can only travel a short distance. Slightly smaller particles will travel via saltation. Sediment that moves furthest away from the bank move via suspension. Anything smaller will have been dissolved and not deposited. There is also vertical sorting, which travels upwards due to the alluvium stacking after recurrent floods, causing the levee and floodplain to grow in height. Humans have historically used floodplains for the development of river civilizations, they have built on land that was susceptible to flooding for access to fresh water, the fertility of floodplain land for farming, cheap transportation of the river, and ease of development due to the flat land. However, today this is a problem, as it could lead to homeowners purchasing housing developments built on flood flooding grounds without their knowledge. Of course, living next to a river also comes at a risk as behind famine and epidemics. Some of the worst natural disasters had been river floods, the worst on record being the 1887 Yellow River Flood in China, which killed an estimated 2 million people. Thank you!